Y'all thought that we were doing just one video, we're doing two of them, because neither of us is smart enough to do things on our own. So, like we did with season 14, let me ask you first, how are you enjoying the season, if at all? <laughs> Listen, I'm an agent of chaos, I love chaos, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this season, it's great! <laughs> like, you can tell nobody knew what was happening every single day, I love it. <laughs> I love it, and actually this is a bunch of my favorite queens ever, so I, I, I'm, I'm living my best life with oh. this season. Uh, I went into the season not knowing Jimbo and Janie and uh, Lemon, and then... You didn't watch Canada? Oh no. No, 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 no. You should. Can you all stop telling me that? <laughs> no! I was very confused when there were like no Drag Race Hispania Queens, but then people told me that they kind of filmed at the same time or something like that. But would you do it if you were asked? Will I do it? I think, yeah, I will. I mean, yeah. who, who am I kidding? I would <laughs> love to be on a season with a lot of international queens and a lot of my competitors, my sisters say, I want to be judged by RuPaul, but it's not even that to me. It's the whole getting to know people. Because here in Spain, we, because of COVID and all this shit, we have not been able to travel outside of Spain. Mm -hmm. And to meet queens from outside, like from the US, from the UK, I wish that I could have been on this season because Blue Hydrangea is actually one of my best drag race friends. Oh, that's sweet. And seeing her do so good, I'm, I love it. Pretending that they would actually allow more than one girl from non-English speaking franchises, who from your season would you want to do it with? I mean, Do I have to answer well, I that mean, question? Okay, other than Ugasso, of course. Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, I'll... Actually, Ugafi and I joke that we should compete uh, like as twins. Okay. Not like, <laughs> we were se we were not separated at birth. We are conjoined twins, and we have to compete as, as such. <laughs> but I would love to compete with Killer Queen. Listen, she is the sweetest person in the world. Like, she was the first day first person to be there to help you when whenever you need it like whenever one of us will have said like a panic attack or, or anxiety she will be the first one to stop drop her whole makeup or the dress and just go for you and help you and whatever you need she's there i think that that's the kind of energy that you need going on to this chaos right you need something that grounds you and that helps you go forward so i would love to go with her anywhere so what do we know about uk versus the world episode four from the preview literally nothing so they're doing snatch game trigger warning for you snatch game one of the guest judges tells someone that they're a lucky lady which makes me think that somebody is doing liza Minnelli. i'll i'll say later who i think is who might be doing liza oh and yeah. i think based on that comment that person also did liza very well and we also saw blue just like having doubts and that's kind of it from the preview so we have nothing to go over who are your safe two queens so i'm going into this thinking that there are queens who english is not their first language mm -hmm. and doing comedy in an improv impersonating someone in your second language it's fucking hard yeah so i have to say i think blue has this kind of sense of humor that rupaul loves she's very blue <laughs> and so listen you paid for this <laughs> you want this this is what as rihanna once said this is what you came for i don't know who and that is i listen I, i'm gonna hit you I'm gonna, <laughs> but so i think blue even though she has doubts she's gonna be okay mm -hmm. i thought she might be on the top but i think she's gonna be safe so I'm, i put her as safe because I, I can see her having that storyline of she doubts herself but then she does pretty good mm -hmm. or maybe her runways that have been amazing this impeccable entire season. this last but episode honestly the best i don't know how best. she wasn't in the top just based on her outfit i will hit her one day <laughs> and i i'm very aggressive i i'm starting to realize <laughs> well hope that's a quality that you like about me and i think jean is gonna be safe too i have the feeling because i was i don't think that they will have the balls to put the two non first speak in english whatever yeah, yeah. how you say that mm -hmm. on the bottom so i think that and she's really she's really good at the challenges like the pat the, the rusical was amazing on her part and i can see her safe definitely i don't know about you 
Uh, so actually, this is the first time that we agree on something. My two safe oh queens are, are Blue and, and Janie. Who are your top two queens? The surprise of nobody, mm -hmm. I think the top two is going to be Juju and Baga. Yeah, uh, same. Yeah. Th 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 there's yeah. no question of this. Juju is great at comedy. And I think that one of the reasons that she is not shining as much this season is because we have three episodes where the comedy wasn't the central part mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. like yeah the rusical was supposed to be funny but it's a rusical the ball you can try to make that funny but and then the talent show again it's not comedy it's center and this is the moment for juju to shine and i actually i think she's gonna win the lip sync i have to say it yeah. already and this is gonna be her second time her second win ever and baga rupaul just loves her and she i think is gonna be the one that does like something early yes uh, yep yep Literally in my notes, I pretty much everything you said so far, I was like, yeah, Rue finds Baga hilarious, no matter what she does, and maybe she'll be the one to do Liza Minnelli. Jujubi just deserves retribution from previous non-comedy challenges, and also retribution from her robbery committed against her on All-Stars 5 Snatch game. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the episode where she arrives to the competition, and yes, I also think that she's going to win the lip-sync between her and Baga. I actually think that because of the drama of last episode, with the whole Rusical, Baga wanting to do the Liza Minnelli character and not winning it, mm -hmm. it's maybe she's actually trying to do another character and last minute she changed it to Liza Minnelli mm -hmm. just to show everyone that she can do Liza better. And it is a great storyline. Also, I think that they love to throw the front runner on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So my bottoms are Pangina, yep. sadly. Yep. I do think she's gonna be on the bottom because I put her there mostly because she's the only one that I have not seen do celebrity impersonations. So I don't mm -hmm. know if she can do it. It's hard when it's not your first language. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. And Mo has not been really good at Snatch Game both times she did it. Yeah. Actually, she was eliminated on season 10 of Snatch Game, right? Yeah, she was in the bottom two there, uh, and on All Stars, she was just, like, safe. Yeah, so I think she's gonna be on the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, I don't same. see her doing someone that could shine a lot. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I also put Mo and Pangina in, the, in, in my bottom two. The only kind of doubts, maybe, that I have is that maybe they would put blue in the bottom too so that there is like a uh, one uk queen in the top one in the bottom and also one us queen in the top and in the bottom so that they can kind of make that storyline of or oh, are you going to save the queen that's from your franchise or from your country or are you going to like you know be fair or whatever but mm -hmm. i also think that it's maybe more of a drama if pangina is in the bottom too because it's like yeah take her out of the competition because she's gonna win if you don't take her out now but then it's like yes. she's she's the best so like if you do take her out it's going to be clear like keeping somebody who's not been doing so great which is mo yeah, i think that actually pangina on the last episode she kind of sets the bar of if the front runner goes to the bottom send them home yeah like that's smart did, she, yeah it is smart but is if she falls in the bottom she has been on the top two times already she has won two challenges she's the one to beat so if she falls i i think they're gonna send her home honestly if i was there and i was the one that won the lip sync and pangina was in the bottom too i wouldn't even let rupaul finish his sentence i would just Pangina go i i want to win this i want the oh wait they actually don't have a prize so i wouldn't care so we did say who we think will win the episode we also we both think that it's going to be jujubi who do you think is going home will it be mo or pangina i don't know my heart is saying mo because mm -hmm. i don't want pangina to go home because she's my favorite this season but i have the feeling that they're gonna send her home i don't know i think that because jujubi i think she's gonna play the game smart and if she wins She's not going to send Mo home. It's her ally. You have to keep people around that you know a lot of them. You you know what their flaws are, what they're strong at. And maybe she didn't know Pangina until this. So I think she's mm. going to send Pangina home. But I, I hope not, honestly. <laughs> I also hope not because very attractive out of drag. So anything else that you want to add before you do get cast on UK versus the World 2? Oh my god. <laughs> 
Stop putting pressure on me. <laughs> I just want to say that I loved being here. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. I really love this season, truly. And again, whenever I get the chance, I like to say, please don't send hate to the queens yeah. that are on this season because they have spent a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy onto producing a show for you to enjoy. So please yeah. take care of them. And, and yeah. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we did great, I would say.